Hey, it's Joaquin Gomez, you're watching 987, along with these guys who I met two years ago in Melbourne. Say hello to Bastille. Set me free from my jealousy. Won't you exercise my mind? Won't you exercise my mind? And guys, firstly, it's so nice to meet you all again. How different is Bad Blood and Wild World? Um, I think it's quite different. I think it still very much feels like us. But we've just, you know, we, we just kind of wanted to try out lots of different sounds and lots of different things and make the album feel more like a kind of, more like a mixtape. I think some bands will go away and write and then come back and tour and then go away. And, but um, because we were so busy the last three years, um, but still wanted to get sort of new music out, it was just came, it just went sort of hand in hand. And so a lot of it was written in all around the world, like whilst we were touring, sort of in backstages or. The music video for Good Grief. Kind of interesting concept where Dan, you're calling the girl who was just playing the drum and she was not answering the phone. For each of you, if your cell phone were to ring, who do you not want it to be? <laughs> Generally, I guess like our tour manager, because if anything is important enough to ring me, it means I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. um, whereas, you know, like it just like a, a, like a quick message and it's like everything's fine. But if, if he's ringing me, that's bad news. I don't like those PPI f <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying. I know. I've never had a good phone call from a bank. So for bank phones, it was invariably to tell me that I had a bailiff on the way. <laughs> so I still, in fact, I used to have a specific ringtone, which was that Nokia one, the famous one. And whenever I hear that, I get like chills because sick. it reminds me of all the times when I used to get phoned by bailiffs. My, this, uh, apart from Sepp Blatter, the, the agency who used to run my old rented house because they refused to change my number on the alarm. So every time the, the new tenant sets the alarm off, I get like eight phone calls. <laughs> it's, all, it's all made a thing. Now, I have to ask you, Carl, what, what happened with the arm? Lidahu, let's just, let's just get this clear, is one of our managers. Yeah, broke his arm. She's important. She's, she's very, very important integral to the team. If you will step out of line, management are going to put you in your place, mate. So. This is the thing. Like, There's a message there about not drinking too much, I think. Yeah, and somehow told by the media was breaking your arm. Um, and you know, if, if like some managers can be a lenient with their artists, but if you step out of line, you're gonna get you have to put your arm in a bi bionic arm. So he looks like Robocop though, so it's fine. It looks Robocop esque. All right, and one final question for you guys: What is your idea of a wild world? This one. That's the point. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> What do, you, right. what do you think? What, what do you think? What do you think I was thinking a wild world would be like jungles with just wild animals oh, running around, right, right, right. Like, like a very Tarzan and Jane I mean, thing. Jumanji. Juman Jumanji, yes. I actually have a gift for you guys. Sometimes waiting backstage can be a little bit boring. So if anybody gets bored, <laughs> I, I, I wish I could bring an entire PS4 for you guys, but, but this is for you guys in oh, case you get amazing. bored. Amazing. Just don't break the ACL. <laughs> <laughs> this one, that leg. Exercise my mind. Italy, we were flying, um, I think it was on our flight from Canada to, to, to Asia, and uh, there was only one business seat available. So I took one for the team and I sat up front, you know, <laughs> to make sure nobody would fight about it. I just, I just went for it, you know. What a nice guy.